Hey everyone, Multiple456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 126 of Let's Platinum and 100% Final Fantasy VII Remake Intermission DLC. Alright, let's continue by walking through here. And when we get here, we're gonna see, well, our main scenario will change the invitation. Let's walk forward. Welcome to our state of the art weapons testing facility. This is where we push every piece of ordnance to its limits and beyond. Such tests are an invaluable part of the development process. Go on, see where the magic happens. Commencing ordnance testing. All right, before we do that, let's use the bench here, get our MP back. We have a uh, sort of a gauntlet of sorts to get through. It's not too challenging, but it's pretty cool and fun. All right, so we have two choices here. The one on the right is a sweeper. It's actually two sweepers, I think. And the one on the left is a mark, uh, mono drive Mark II. Now we've already fought sweepers, so we need to fight uh, mono drive Mark IIs. Initiating procedure. Well, we don't need to fight them, but in terms of getting all the assessors, it's a good idea to go for that one. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, my healing is maxed out as well. I should probably check my uh, material load out one more time make sure everything's going well Subjects approaching test site. Okay, there they test are. Begin momentarily. I think we have to wait until this opens okay let me have a quick look at battle settings lightning that's good although technically for this one wind is good first strike skill master healing or well, healing doesn't need to be there anymore so we'll swap this out and lightning synergy is good yeah let's leave like this for now okay let's go so for these guys you want to just hit them with some normal attacks let's get an assess going cool we already know about them oh wow that was really good damage i'm going for this one which has the the green around it which means you can hit it with physical attacks okay now it's got that so let's hit it with magical attacks let's try and do a wind ninjutsu Hit it, hit it. Oh, wait, doesn't it have the thing on it? Oh, maybe I have to hit it physically first. Ah. Come on. Alright, it's gone on the ground. Fire combo, let's hit this one instead. Ow. That, what? Wow. Okay, fire combo is pretty strong. <laughs> and I'm about to die. Alright, so let's cure her. Let's have Sonon use his insight uh, ability. I don't know, I never noticed that insight. What? How did it. Okay. I don't know how it disappeared so quickly. So, for the proficiency bonus, I'm gonna try. Ah, damn it. What is happening? Why is insight disappearing so quickly? Usually it lasts for quite a while. It might be because, like, Yuffie's attacking and doing too much damage, but still. The way you get the proficiency bonus for insight is to um, have Sonon do or draw an enemy's attention three times, I think is how it is. Okay, good, that one's dead. But it's kind of difficult, like you really, I don't know, you kind of have to just let Sonon fight it, but it takes forever. Alright, that wasn't great. I'm <laughs> thinking modest. Select type to deploy for this try. Let's have a look at it really quick one more time, if the game will let me, thank you. Uh, Sonon... Wow, he got so much there. Oh, I must have used it before, there's no way I got 70% during that. Draw an enemy's attention for three attacks while this ability is active. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, the left one is a cutter, and the right one is actually a two blast rays. Now, we haven't fought either of them, but I'm going to go for the blast ray. Uh, I don't know why, I just gonna go for it. <laughs> I don't think we get to fight a cutter beyond this point or like after that moment but we'll fight it in hard mode it's all right. I'm gonna heal Sonon at least. Keep Yuffie. Let's give her a high potion why not. Uh, and what was the thing? Yeah, okay, I think we're good. So, let's use Assess to start off with. He's gonna activate Thunder, do some good damage. Let's have Insight go. I'm gonna use Lightning Ninjutsu. 
Seems like he's already done three attacks, but apparently not. Let's attack him close up. Let's do let's do another lightning ninja too to get more points in the thunderous banishment. Insight is still active. Oh, I don't even know if I finished my thought before, but I never noticed the word insight is a uh, homophone for like both types, like insight to have insight into something and to incite something. There we go. All right, you got the proficiency bonus. I guess it, it just left it long enough on. So now, oh, I'm gonna hit it with thunderous banishment and pray that that does not quite enough. Let's have. Uh, oh, he's gonna use thunder. Beautiful. And now you. And now I'll use windstorm if I can. Is it off me? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Windstorm. Thunder. Come on. Yeah. Almost. Maybe this will be enough. Nice. Okay. One's dead. Avoid that. When I said um, as long as it's off me, I meant the shuriken. So if it, if you see retrieve, then that's when you want to use windstorm. It's got a different effect if you have it on you. Okay, here we go. Oh, let me uh, let me use lightning and jutsu. And again. Oh, I never thought about that. Skillmaster is actually really helping me in terms of um, keeping my ATB from using. Well, technically you'd have to use different abilities, but yeah. Let's use this Thunder of Spanish and go. Nice. Quite a lot of damage. Didn't really use much for Sun on there, but that's alright. Run, run, run. Just keep avoiding concentrated fire, it does a lot of damage. Get in there with Swirling Storm. And let's finish him off with our brilliant Synergized Art of War. Let's go. Huh, huh. Yeah! Oh yeah, I never used Ninja Cannonball. I forgot about that. Let's try it on the next one. Actually, the one after that. I'll try the one after that. Okay, so this one you can either use... Um, you can either pick regular mono drives or regular slug rays. You know what? Because I actually thought it was going to be... Let me do this. Ninja Cannonball. I'll do slug ray. Well, like we fought both of them already, so it doesn't matter. But let's just go. I'll try Ninja Cannonball. How do I use it again? It's like R1 plus, plus triangle, but is it like at any time? Oh, while synergized, I think that's what it is. Let's see how this works. I feel like chapter 2 is a bit shorter than chapter 1, but uh, there's a lot to do. So, let me see. I'm gonna go synergize. Ayah! Okay, that didn't work at all. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. I mean, it did a lot of damage and it pressured it, so I'd say that's pretty good. Don't let me be hit by that. I don't know if Sonon got hit by that. Oh, we're synergized. Okay, I was like, why are we both flying in the air? Where are you? Oh, no. Get in there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, interesting. I actually got hit by that, but I'm not affected by it. I, it feels like, because I was synergized, Sonon protected me. Nice, that was a good fight. There is so much to Yuffie's combat. It's insane. Like, I literally learn something every time I play. Alright, but this one is two armored magi troopers, which we've already fought, and this is a moth unit, so let's fight that, because we haven't fought that one. Yeah, she's very, very, very versatile, very powerful. The, the only thing that I would say that she lacks is uh, like her the amount of moves like she's got art of war which is like a physical attack she's got windstorm which is sort of more of a magical type attack but then she hasn't got much else and uh that's the only thing but she's still really really powerful all right let's start with an assess let's get away from here so this one the trick here is that it's weak to lightning but it's also weak to wind so we want to build up our ATB gauge, and we want to go for wind, because that one... Because if we do lightning, then it can hit us with shock, and it's way too much damage. Nice. So now that it's sort of, not pressured, but like on the floor, hit it physically with Sonon, please let this second one go through. Oh crap. That's fine, that's fine. 
Oh god, get away from that. As long as you're parrying, uh, you can actually avoid the stun from that. So be aware of that. Okay, watch out for that one. Let's get a windstorm in there. And that, yeah, that'll finish it off. Nice. A few more windstorms. Okay, and for this last one, we get a new enemy. We get a new enemy that's rather annoying. Like, I feel like I'm missing something in terms of how to fight it, but we'll see. I just want to, yeah. I was hoping, I'm pretty sure I assessed, yeah, I did this. Test Alright, so here we have the new enemy, as I said. It's called a Death Wheel. So let's assess this and get going. Beginning. Throw, and we use an assess. It actually dodged my attack? Cool. Alright, Death Wheel, an autonomous anti-personnel weapons platform developed by the Advanced Weaponry Division. Equipped with a compact, high displacement engine, it is capable of rapid, nimble movement that allows it to strike its target with ease. Pelting it with repeated magic attacks will render it susceptible to staggering. Uh, while it can easily deflect frontal attacks, its rear is vulnerable. So it's very resistant to lightning, but it basically can be hit by everything else. So let's get, well yeah, lightning's not going to do much. And so pelt with repeated magic attacks. So what I like to do is I like to use Fire Ninja 2. For saturation attack, just keep pressing R1. Damn, I timed it wrong. Uh, hang on a second, let me try that again. Oh, this one, I don't even know, know what that looks like. <laughs> what is that? What does that even mean, got missile? G-O-T. Whoa, what happened there? Sonon, like, automatically drew its attention. So I'm hitting it with a ton of attacks. Saturation attack, but that's going for Sonon. Come on. You just have to keep pelting it with magic attacks, but it, it doesn't, it seems to take too long. Let's say I uh, try Windstorm. Okay, and it looks like if you use that. What happened? Oh, I got a, I got a perfect block somehow. You know, I, tr I think I tried looking it up, but um, when Yuffie says that, why me? Oh yeah, when it's pressured, you can hit it from behind to deal good amount of damage to its pressure gauge or improve it a lot twirling lunge won't really work from this position but that's pretty good uh yeah when she says that like why me she sounds like um uh the one from resident evil 4 but i can't remember her name now ashley Okay, so we did all that. Uh, let's just make sure that I got everything. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, she sounds like that. Uh, she sounds like Ashley from RE4. Like, why me? How cool is RE4 looking, by the way? The the remake it looks. Uh, there's there's a lot of stuff going on there, and a lot of stuff that's changed. So interesting. <laughs> And it still looks like they're going to keep their wise cracking Leon buddy cop kind of thing going. If you, I'm sure everyone's seen it. Who cares about it? So I won't say any more. But yeah, <laughs> it looks cool. All right. Uh, let's see. Did we? We got a few levels there, but nothing really too important. I'm not going to bother leveling anything there. Alright, let's just go. Yeah, I don't think we need to change anything. Let's just go. I'm gonna try and get this part done for this episode and then we'll stop for today. Where are we? That thing can't be operational, can it? We better hope not, boss. At long last, Wu Tai's finest deign to join us. <laughs> You've performed admirably. Quit acting all superior. We both know you're afraid of us. <laughs> Is that so? Well, maybe I am. 
You should know there's more where we came from. Lots more. And you'll never see them coming. Just imagine a whole clan of ninjas landing on your doorstep. <laughs> oh my! We must do something right away. Well, you can't. Don't say that. Won't you at least give us a chance? What the? Allow me to present the latest innovation in Shinra Battle Armor. Designed by yours truly. This will be a memory to cherish for the rest of your lives. All 30 seconds of them. <laughs> Okay, so this is Scarlet and the Crimson Mare. So let's wait a second here and wait for this attack and then just keep blocking it to, to get that perfect guard. Watch out for this attack as well. Alright, so the way this works, well, first of all, we need to make sure... Yes, we have. I was like, I was going to say, we need to make sure we've assessed the sentry, sentry rays. You could defeat the sentry rays, but they're, um, they keep... She just keeps respawning them. So the idea, oh wait, I actually should probably check those it says, Scarlet, the director of Shinra's advanced weaponry division. She has taken command of the battle armor she herself designed so as to torture and put an end to her unwitting test, subject, test subjects. When her HP is depleted, she will faint and be unable to pilot the battle armor. And then for the Crimson Mare, it says, blood red battle armor for Scarlet's personal use. Its creator's personality can be seen in every facet of this machine, from its extravagantly outfitted cockpit that emphasizes form of function to its arms oversized weapons loadout. When its pilot is incapacitated, it will be susceptible to staggering. It is capable of equipping a variety of lethal artillery, but destroying these weapons will temporarily eliminate the threat they pose. All right, so let's go for Scarlet. Again, block, 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 block. Let's try this. I was trying to do the old, uh, trying to see if the cannonball attack worked. We need to get, um, what's his name, to use some Swirling Storm on Scarlet. That is not doing damage. I'm trying to block, I can't believe those sentry rays are doing as much damage as they're doing. Oh no, it cancelled my Cura, that's no bueno. Okay, can we please die? Okay, back to Scarlet. I'll leave one of them alive, or two. Actually, maybe I should take them out, I'm just realising. This fight is kind of awkward, like, sometimes it works, like, at the moment I'm not doing great. So fast. Full of barrage, but that's on Sonon. We should heal Sonon. Nice. I find it so difficult to block. You can't really block attacks in, in midair, which I feel like is a is something that they could have fixed or could have made possible. Alright, Scarlet's so about to die, so I'm just gonna quickly use another assess on the sentry launchers. I think he will probably destroy that in one hit. Okay, now pressured, so Sonon can you use Twirling Lunge. Come on, attack, attack, attack. It's not going to be enough, is it? Okay, nice. Now let's use Synergized Windstorm. I don't even think we need to go that crazy here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, we can still keep going. I'll use another regular Windstorm. And one of these. Quick, quick, quick. Boom. Oh, I hadn't put uh, Thunderous. I hadn't Lightning Ninja to. Oops. Okay, let's take Sinji off. Avoid the Marco Cannon as much as possible. Now we're going to attack it. She equipped two, two Marco Cannons. Okay, so on, can you try and hit it with Swirling Storm? Did I time it right? Yes, okay, good. So once the first one's gone, second one is a bit easier to take care of. Let's use a Windstorm. Oh, nice. Okay, keep going on Scarlet there. Use Swirling Storm. Decent damage. Let's get a Fire Ninja to going. So we can do more damage to her. Let's 
do a windstorm, why not? Okay, she's gonna change again. Okay, now after this part, you wanna make, you wanna get uh, your block ready. Because she's gonna swing at, at us very quickly. And we can actually, if we block it, we can instantly stagger her. So here we go. Block. Block. Damn it. I, are you kidding me? How did I miss that? Block. Game. Block. What is going on? Am I like not facing her? Is that what it was? Okay, that was... Oh my god, I want to like retry, retry the battle because that was terrible. I don't even know what to do anymore because... This is stupid. I'm not very happy about that. Um, I don't know what was happening there. Maybe I was like facing away or something. Uh, Alright, you know what? I'm going to leave this in and we'll do the battle again at the beginning of next episode. So, yeah. Ending on a bit of a sour note, but we'll try and get our revenge next time. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 126 of Lost Platinum and 100% Final Fantasy VII Remake Intermission DLC. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.